Hello and welcome to Monster Truck Classics. This is going to be a upgrade video of my Axial SMT10 Max D and I'm going to show you some parts right now. Usually I'm behind the camera doing the Hot Wheels Monster Jam unboxings, but this is going to be something a little bit different, so hopefully you'll enjoy this. Let's start off by my new pit mat that I got for Christmas from Cow RC. It is magnetic and it also has different grooves to put your screws in or whatever else you want to put in so you don't lose them. And uh, I also got back here two little other dishes to put stuff in. Now let's go on to the truck. What I'm going to be doing here is one of the parts that we're going to start off with to show you the machine motor plate. I'm gonna go ahead now. I'll need new slipper pads. Please put the pause button on if you wanna write down what I'm using. And then the steel spoiler gear 32P56T. And then the axial uh, complete metal gear set steel transmission you always need that then this is something new that I'm gonna try out I didn't do this in my grave digger I might have to is the MIP X duty C drive kit for the axial SMT 10 and then I'm gonna stay with a uh, Valenion extreme brushless power system by Traxxas the VXL 3s and the 3500 motor and then the lipo battery 25c 11.1 volt with 3s the 5000 mah battery and then going to do something different with this also this will be my first time is using the j concepts tribute tires they are the 2.6 by 3.6 inch monster truck wheel set with adapters, caps, and hardware. And I got the silver one. Well, that does it for now, and stay tuned for more updates during this video. It didn't take too long, but I got the ESC and the motor out of Max D. And there it is. So, the next step will be taking off the spur gear and opening up the transmission box and everything like that. And this is day two, working on my SMT-10 Max-D. I'm gonna be taking off the spur gear and also the motor plate and getting inside to the transmission. Here on day two, I didn't get a whole lot done because of two issues I ran into. The first one was with this rubber gear to get these two uh, bushings out. And so I had to cut it. And then also that open hole as you can see right there. Hopefully uh, this little pot goes in there to hold the gear in place. And I lost this little thing on the floor so those two things really held me back here in day two day three is going a lot smoother i put in the metal gear set from axial racing and greased it up with the truck power gear grease so here we go time to put on the other side and then also the screws the axial machine motor plate is now installed. The next step now is putting the slipper pads onto the new steel spur gear and also getting the circular metal pot off of this old spur gear because I gotta use that on the new one. Day 5, March the 17th, and I'm going to be installing the ESC for the Traxxas Villineon brushless system into the Max-D. Alright, I got the ESC in place and got the wire connected into channel 2. 
in the receiver. So on the left hand side it will look like this. Right hand side will be where the motor wires will be connecting and also the battery. I'm ready to install the MIP XDDC drive kit and I never installed this before but thankfully there's some instructions that come along with it so hopefully it won't be too complicated. I installed the MIP XDDC drive kit as you can tell on both sides of the transmission and also up here in the drive line. So next up for me will be installing the motor and also then the Robinson Racing pinion gear. The motor and ESC is not hooked up yet. Well, I hooked it up and stuff, ran into problems with it. Traxxas is sending me a new Villenion VXL3 S ESC and the motor system. So I'll be getting that hopefully shortly back. But on Monday, I was able to uh, receive the new J Concepts Renegade Monster Truck Tires, the blue compound from my local hobby shop. It came in on Monday. And look at, I was, in, I was really impressed when I saw these, how big they were compared to the BKT tires. This is a little update of what I have done with my wheels. I'm going with the 25 millimeter offset and also I put on the foam ring on each four tires and I just got done gluing the set of tires to the wheels. This was my first time doing that and then I'll have to do the other side of them as well. It's been a while since I walked on my SMT-10 Max-D and in the last video I only had one side of the tires glued to the wheels and now both sides are glued to the wheels and I forget what day I did that. And also I made a decision to now go with the planetary that has a hole in the middle instead of the closed one just because it's going to be easier to get to the nut in the middle to take off the tire. You have just seen the pictures of the before and after of what it looked like with the planetary cover off and then on and they look really cool. This is the end of part one of my SMT-10 Max-D that I am working on and hopefully in a couple weeks or less I will get back a new ESC and motor from Traxxas and then the progress will really speed up for me working on this project and I will also be uploading a part two in a few weeks or to a month depending upon how fast the build continues. So thank you for tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this part one.